You know, this bidet is not too bad. It comes with knee pads. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I don't normally talk crap on my channel, but tonight I'm gonna make an exception. We're gonna talk clean crap, because we have us a new bidet. This is what we're gonna be installing. So let's check it out and unbox it and see what all it comes with. Figure out how to open it up. All right. So let's see what we got here. Instruction booklet. Okay. Uh oh, it's already come with a with a hookup. That's for the water, I reckon. Here's a parts box. Let's see what all we got in here. Uh, this is a remote control. That looks like it's got a wall mount to it. Um, these will be the plates to mount it. So a Y fitting right here. And some miscellaneous bolts. Let's see what we got here. This is, looks like the cord. Yes, it is. Is this the cord? Okay, good. It's got a GFI breaker on it, so that's good. So it's like a, a circuit breaker. Let's see. All right. There it is. <clears throat> Soft closed. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait till we get this installed. Let's go get it ready. All right, first thing we got to do is we're going to lift these arms up. And we're going to remove this seat right here. Now, this is just a standard seat, so we're gonna go ahead and remove it. It's gonna take just regular old house pliers. All right, now that we've got both of them already done the other side over there, I'm gonna pull this off. Well, I thought I had the other side done, guess not. This thing must have its own set of lungs. It's so long-winded. All right, we'll take that off. We'll get this out of the way over here. Let's see here. Let's get the instructions and see what they say. I see here that there's some kind of diagram in here I'm gonna have to follow. So let's see what this is. Man. Basically how to hook it up. All right. So now we've got this. Here's our instructions here. much better all right Let's see here if we can't get this lined up straight lined up a little bit better um these go in goes right here all right 
That looks good right there, doesn't it? That looks good. Now, these go here and here. And like this. And like that. These are probably long-winded also, but not quite as bad as the other ones were. Make sure we get it plenty tight because it needs to be sturdy. Usually Phillips head doesn't get them quite as tight as a flat head, but you don't, we don't want to over torque them either. But we want to make sure they're good and tight. All right, that looks good. All right, we'll move this out of the way. And according to the instructions, we should <clears throat> connect to the toilet, connect to the day supply hose, and connect to the water. All right, so we're going to get ready to put this in. <clears throat> Better close that up. Don't leave knives laying around. Ain't good. All right. Let's cut this water off. There, that's off. Probably going to make a little bit of a mess here. But maybe not too bad. This is the adapter. For the bidet to fit on here, now all right, let's put all this on. And it shows to go which way. Well, it didn't make as big a mess as I thought it was going to make, but that's it right there. And we'll turn it back on once we get the bidet put in. Like so. 
And that's it. That lifts up. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get the hose hooked up. Get this plastic off of it. And this hose is the supply line that goes to the bidet. Put your rubber gasket in. It's got a little screen on it. We'll make sure we get that in there. All right. I do not like how it sticks out right there. So I'm going to maneuver it to where it turns in after I get it all put together. I like that a little better. It'll be hid there now, won't be sticking out so much. Just gonna tighten it up lightly. Well, I tell you what, this is left-handed mode. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, let's turn it back on. Let me go grab a flashlight so I can see to make sure it's not leaking. All right, let's check it for leaks. Leave that on for just a minute. We'll make sure there's no leaks. Let's take the plastic off of it. Almost looks like it's got a Wi-Fi. Uh -uh. Probably does. Everything's getting smart these days. Let's see. All right, safety precaution warning. All right, that works good. just like that and it'll be out of the way but for right now you know what's not out of the way what your head it's okay it's okay I'm the star of this show let's see I put an outlet in here so let's make it work through this. This will work right here. Well, 
Uh oh. Doing something since we first cut it on. I don't know what it's doing, but uh, it was making some noises. <laughs> this ought to be real interesting. Um, we're gonna get the remote out now. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna mount the remote control. We're gonna mount it right here on the wall. Now, this one here is gonna need a plug. That's okay, we got one right here. I'm not using the one that came with it. I'm gonna use this one here. Cause I like these better. They work better. Now. Also gonna use these screws because I like them better too. Well, they gonna interfere with the door no that's why i'm using these screws because they won't they're not too big to interfere with the door well Tell me again, they're not going to interfere with the door? Pause it. All right, we got that mounted. Where's the remote at? Let's see here. Whew, I don't even know how to turn this on. Make sure this is working first. Is it filling? Yeah. It's filling. All right. User one. <laughs> it <fro> <laughs> They don't have any batteries. Let's go get some batteries for it. All right, well, here it is. We're fessing to check it out and see how it works. And look at the remote. Let me get it up here where you can see a little better. It's got rear and it's got pressure, position. Wow. All these different things. Let's see how it works. All right, I'm looking at the remote now. It's got water temperature, dry temperature, seat temperature. It's got easy wash, and it's got light. And it's got an auto wash and dry. And check out the light. So at night, when you come in here to go to the bathroom, you'll be able to see where your, where your toilet is. Maybe for us guys, we may not miss all the time. But it has a dry feature, which you can really see. This is the pure breeze right here. And I don't know if I can show how it's blowing, but you see it's blowing pretty good. And uh, that's pretty neat. The seat temperature is really warm throughout the whole seated area. Um, we're gonna turn it on rear wash and this should come out and we're gonna uh, 
put my hand over it. So probably have to get right in here at this area. Yeah, like that. All right, we're gonna do rear wash. Uh, you're pressing the button and it's not, maybe it's not, it's not picking up anybody sitting down, so it's not doing anything. Um, I guess the only way to find out is to use it. <laughs> but so far, it's got the different pressures and positions, so I guess you can make it go further out or fur closer back. Um, we're gonna have to just try it out. This is a Alpha UX Pearl bidet. And we got this online and it just come in today. So we're excited about it. I mean, we're talking crap on Jake and Fix It now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll let you know how it turns out.